Boys and girls, welcome to our children's sermon this week. Um, this week we're going to talk about words. And they can be words that we write, words that we say, um, things that we type, uh, words that we see. Um, when we think about words, um, we think about a lot of different things. And right now we have to use our words a lot more, don't we? Because we don't get to maybe see people, can't be as close to people as we want. And one of the things I've started doing, and I'm really, really enjoying it, is I've started sending lots of cards and letters, and maybe had Guyton had gotten away from that for a while, but I decided, you know, I think that's kind of important. It's always fun to get mail. I've sent letters to my students. Um, I've sent some thank you cards. I've got, uh, I've got a card here that's called Just Checking In to See How You've Been. Just sometimes maybe somebody needs a day, thing, something to perk up their day a little bit if they haven't been around folks. I brought, I bought uh, these cards. This is a, a thank you card for teachers because this week is teacher's week. So maybe that's something you could do. Um, birthday cards. Lots of kids are having birthdays right now. I know my grandson has one this week and they can't have parties with their friends right now because of all of the, the social distancing and things like that that we have going on. And another important thing is graduation cards. We have lots of boys and girls that are graduating from uh, high school right now, and they can't have their big graduation ceremonies because of all of the things going on. And so people are trying to find ways to celebrate and make them feel good and important, um, even when they can't have their ceremony. So sometimes sending a card or a letter, and you don't have to go buy one. You could make one and send it to someone and give them your words. Maybe tell them how you feel or thank them or just say something happy and joyful. I got a letter this week from one of my students and there was a really uh, pretty picture in it for me and I had that hanging on my fridge and then there was a really nice letter which I really appreciate. I love to get mail. And you know, there's another word that we think a lot about and that we can kind of live our lives by and that's God's word. God's word is our Bible. And our Bible has many, many words in us that can help us when we're thankful for something or when we're feeling really sad and we want to feel better about things. And sometimes it tells us how we need to live our lives, what we need to do to be children of God. There's one verse in particular that I picked out for this week, and I really hope you'll like it. It is found in the book of Psalms, chapter 119, verse 105, and it says, Your word is a lamp to my feet and a light for my path. Because you know right now, God's word can help us when maybe we are feeling sad and we can't maybe see grandpas and grandmas or we can't see our friends at school. And God can give us that light on our path and he can guide us and help us and make our hearts feel good because we know we're doing all these things so that we'll all stay safe and healthy and we can go to God's word anytime that we have a question about something or what God would want us to do about something. God's word is the place to go. So this week, maybe share your words with somebody or draw a picture for somebody. We've got Mother's Day coming up next weekend. We've got, like I said, it's Teacher's Day this week, and it's also Nurse's Day this week. I believe that one's on Wednesday. So if you know somebody that you could spread some words to, and remember that God spreads his word to you, and God gives you those words in your heart to help you, to help you celebrate, to help you when you need to be lifted up, whatever it might be, but God's word is always there for us in the Bible. So let's bow our heads and close our eyes for a quick prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, we pray for the boys and girls this week that you will help them to share their words and their love with others as you have shared your word with us. And help us as we each are celebrating in our homes, um, different events, and that you will help us if we're feeling a little bit sad, that we can go to your word and we will be lifted up. We ask for your guidance in keeping each of these boys and girls and their families safe and healthy. For it's in Jesus' precious name we pray. Amen. All right, go spread the word. Spread the word of God and spread some words of happiness. Have a great week, everybody. See you next week.